Kia ora, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about how to firmware mod a PlayStation 3. And this applies for all PS3s, whether it's a fat, slim or super slim. So first up, insert your USB drive into your PC and then load up the GUI format or the FAT32 formatter. Make sure you have selected the correct drive or you will overwrite all your stuff. So format that, close that out. Now we're ready to transfer files onto it. I have provided a link in the description to download the PS3 folder. You'll need to copy all the contents in that PS3 folder and dump it onto your or the root of the USB stick or USB drive that you are using. Once you have copied all that over, head over to your PS3, power it up and insert it into one of the USB drives. Head over to settings, go to system update. Go to settings, system update. Then we're gonna to go to update via storage media. As you can see there, we have the hybrid firmware. We're going to click on yes. Once that installs, the PlayStation will reboot. When it reboots, you won't notice any difference. That's because we haven't activated the HEN firmware yet. Now you need to head over to Internet Browser, click on that, and we need to clear out all the data that's in there, or data. So you need to press the triangle button, go up twice the tools, then go down to Delete Cookies, select Yes, do the same thing again, hit the triangle, tools go down to the next one delete search history yes triangle button go all the way down delete cache yes one more go up to tools and we're going to delete authentication information yes now we're going to go and clear out the well make it uh, turn the auto off on the confirm browser now we can press the B button to back out. We also need to set up the internet settings, or your Wi-Fi connection, or wired, or LAN, or whatever it is that you're using. It's best to use Wi-Fi. So just go to Easy, and obviously scan. Once you put your password in, do a test connection. Obviously it's gonna fail, so don't worry about it. Just press the circle button to back out. Now head back over to your internet browser. Click on that, off the X. Now we're going to hit the start button. And we're going to delete all of this. And we're going to type in P S3 exploit.me. So PS3 exploit spelt with an X, not an E. XPLOIT dot ME. And then we're going to press start twice.
Once the page loads, we're going to go up to the top left hand corner and select PS3 HEN and we're going to select PS3 HEN Auto Installer. Click on that once and you'll get a file, it'll automatically download it and then press the circle button. Now you want to press the back button and we want to add bookmark. We need to bookmark this, it'll probably auto download again, don't worry about it, just let it do it and then press the circle button to back out. Select the internet browser again. Once that loads up, hit the triangle button and go down to bookmarks. Select my bookmarks and go to PS3 HEN auto installer. It'll probably try and auto install another file, or the same file again. So just let it do that. Press the circle. Now click on the auto installer. Yep, there we go. Auto install HEN. Give it a second. And there you go, welcome to PS3 HEN. That's letting you know that it is activated and now it's gonna download two more files. So it'll do this automatically. So let it download the first one. Once that's done, hit the circle button and it'll give you a notification. Once you hit that circle button, it'll auto install the final one and then the PS3 will reboot. And once that does that, you will see the HEN logo next to the PS3 logo. And that lets you know that your console is now firmware modded and ready for games to be uploaded to the hard drive. And there you go. It is now displaying the HEN logo, letting you know that the exploit is now available to be used. Now head over to Game, go down to Enable HEN, press the X button. Don't forget to reinsert your USB stick if you've taken it out, because the next step you're going to need it in there. Go to Package Manager underneath it, then we're going to go down to install packages or install package files go to standard go down to multi-man press x and it will install it once that's installed press the circle button to go back then go back into package manager and then go down to install package files it's the same thing standard now we're going to install PS2 Classic Launcher, click on that. Once that installs, do the same thing, hit the circle button. Go back into Package Manager, Install, Standard, and now we're going to copy over the config file. Go back into Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and we're going to install Webman Mod. And that's it, that was the final package. You now have everything you need to upload your games and run them from the hard drive. So now grab a LAN cable and plug one end into the back of your PC and the other end into the back of your PlayStation. We're going to change the internet settings again. So scroll all the way down to the bottom to network settings internet connection settings, press OK. I'm going to go to custom, wired connection, manual settings, press X, go to manual, I'm going to change the IP address to 1112, the default router to 1, the primary DNS to 11111, and the secondary DNS to 1111. Once you've done that, press X and then right.
keep MTU as auto, not used, enable, Let's just press the X button. Don't worry about testing the connection because <laughs> it's not connected online, it's just connected to your PC. Head over to game, now we need to enable HEN. Once that's activated, we need to go down to the bottom and enable multi-man. Once it starts up, I'm going to show you how to turn off the annoying background music. So go into settings and scroll down. Keep going down. Where it says there, theme audio. Press the X button and disable it. Now we can carry on with what we were doing. We need to go into the settings again, go to FTP service and make sure that enable no timeout is selected. Head over to your PC, we're going to right click on the internet icon and open the network. We're going to go to the adapter settings, click on that. We're going to right click on Ethernet, go down to properties, double click on this one here. And then we're going to change it to manual. So click on this, type in 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. 255.255.255.0 the dots are already there for you so just uh, click OK OK again just close out of this window it may ask you is it OK to connect to this say yes or OK close out all these windows we're going to fire up FileZilla now this is the final step in the top left hand corner where it says host type in 1.1.1.2 two and then click quick connect and you're in by default everything on the right hand side is the ps3 everything on the left is the pc so we need to click on the hard drive zero this is where you will be uploading all your games as you can see there the main folders that i am pointing with the mouse pointer is where you will be transferring them We've now come to the end of this video, so I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.